your attitude. Your attitude make it, you can get no men yet. So the only place you think you can get men is in Liberia where you can use cash violence. Because in Liberia, when you send $40, in Liberia, $40, like $7,000. And you think you can catch somebody with good son. In like send $40, and think you can use somebody child and call him. When you, eh, what you doing other than you say, man, sorry, man, I beg you. Man, hold your phone. And you think when you come to America, you will kiss your app, man. No. In the America, America is a plain field. Get everybody the opportunity to compete. So most of your women there in America, yeah, when miserable, you know you can bring out foolishness to some of us in America. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because here in America, we all own the plane field to compete. Some of you, you make more money than some of all, but at the end of the day, that certain foolishness will not take. Certain foolishness we can't take from you. So you run to Liberia. You see the burning on Facebook. Boom! You're joining the inbox. And you think now you get men. Because most of you are not looking for male. You're looking for son. Why you want you want you want control somebody child in a bro? Forty dollars. Talking about the girls, no one controlling men in a bro. So let me tell you, what the crowd of body in a bro will do. And you want be controlling, and you want husband, you're looking for child, fun. You get child to support. So the first thing, soon you and he start talking, you introduce you to him, man. And la brain, oh man, oh, the old man bad. The old man will know her son get his serial girlfriend in a bro. For that is also. The man told you, man, dollar, huh? we love you. Man, all the boys dying over you, man. Mm -hmm. hmm. I know you do to my son, the boys dying over you. Man. She will take it, and you see your whole thing, and then you feel, you feel powerful. You feel like you all that in a bag of chips. And, and you feel all that in a bag of chips. Huh. Okay. You powerful. Oh, you the cutest thing ever there is. By the time you send out, you got most of the big money you can send to your bedding, like, bro, like 50 dollars. We know your level, then. we got a girlfriend in there. Like 50 dollars you can send. Because, first of all, you're, most of you here are single moms. Okay, single moms. You got three, four children. You got to pay a lot of money for for daycare. I, I ain't trying to disrespect a single mom right now. All the single money, they are rich right now. So I can't disrespect no single mom right now. All the single money right now, they can sue me. Uh, they are. They have the they are very rich right now, so I can't disrespect no single mom. So to all single mom, a revolutionary greeting. But your your tell your 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 fifty dollar you can send every month. I know they tax they they tax down. I can I can't mention my arm with no labor and crowd right now. Cause you go labor right now, all the crowd born rich. Because all I know I get a single mom or woman in America. The woman they finish in the two thousand. I like made a last one compare myself with. Me I get two thousand in your pocket. I stupid. Mm -hmm. I can't compare myself with men like that. I can't compare myself with men like that. So right now, all the crowd about in like, bro, get a little single man, girlfriend in, like, in, like, in America, let men are rich. Let men are rich. You can't compare yourself with them. But that's fine. That's fine. So, there is what they can do. They sit down here. They refuse. Look, let me tell you something, my librarian girls, then who here with sing, who are single mom here, you get men in Liberia, like, you think somehow you can buy love. You think you can buy love. Let me tell you something. When a man come to America, as long as you don't change your ways, the same reason why your children's father came in and went right back out the door and left you with babies. If you don't change your ways, he will come here too and he will leave. And then you will come here on the Facebook for all the four in sympathy with you. I can't believe. Uh, what made you think when you bring some other child here, they, they're supposed to kiss your, 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 your butt? Just because you bring him here, so what? You think he's your slave? The same reason why those other guys walk away, he will walk away too. I'm telling you, you better work on your attitude. I'm not going to break up with a mom because you got five children. Trust me. And I love to somebody here in America who have five children and were together for two years. Yes, five children. And let me tell you something. Uh, since we are about five, you don't get me to. Now, car can say, oh, my man, the car managed to how you can sleep with a woman whole day, but then she get in the shower, she come in the shower, everything get back to normal. Fajana nan get no meter. Fajana nan get malice for the sake. My man, they meter looking how? Eh, let me let me look at the cap. Uh, you know how you can when you buy in car, you say, my man, what the malice on it? He said, my man, the car get 2,000 malice. She said, my man, you've been driving that car for long, man. Been driving that car for long. Woman nan get malice. Woman nan get malice. So I don't care whether you have five children. Once you know how to take care of yourself, when a man will come, so money. Woman nan get malice, yo. So you're starting, uh, just because you, some of you, you're so insecure. Some of you, your insecurity comes from the fact that you got more than three children. You got three, four children, so you feel insecure that nobody in America will want you. That's not true. You know how many guys here in America will want you if you just work on your attitude? Just be nice. Work on your attitude. Okay? 
uh, sit down and think about some of the reasons why you broke up in the first relationship. Be honest with yourself. Identify your flaws. Maybe in the past relationship, the reason why you broke up in the first relationship, everything was not your fault. Okay? But there are some things that was your fault. There are things you could have done differently. There are things you could have said differently. Okay? So, first of all, identify your mistake. Own up to your mistake. Okay? And know what to do differently next time. But this idea where you think you can just use cash violin and buy somebody child in Liberia, trust me, when he come here, he will meet us here. He will meet with you. And don't think when you bring crowd violin from America, you just like him. You only like him all when he, until his green card come. Because trust me, just how we can bring our woman in from America, we'll bring our woman in from America, so we'll tell our woman to go to party, you're going to start changing that. Like, my man, let me tell you, so my wife bringing a woman in here, like, it is like bring crowd getting and do. So you bring a woman from Liberia, and you and your woman go to the first party. Everybody will start meeting, for example, Carolina. Ah, Carolina, welcome, oh. Christmas, our umbrella, oh. Welcome, ma. Uh. Christmas. So you bring a woman here, you tell me I love you. Carolina, why are you no more? They will tell you no more. Ah, Christmas, why? The, the, the next thing, uh, you are supposed to be her brother. She not calling you. Carolina, what are you doing? I'm at home, oh. I'm feeling cooking. I just watching the news. Ah, I'm going to the mall. You don't go to the mall? Let go now. Then, oh yeah, sure. Let me call my husband and ask him. Christmas, my friend taking me to the mall. Ah! Carla, you wouldn't be here two more, you get friend already. Hey man, they don't go to the party like that anymore, they get more in a red dress. Yeah, they get like how I want to me. They get say you are sister, let me go coming back quick way. Back who? La girl, the girl, that girl going, push her. Say ma. But why you can be sitting in the hall whole day, man? You can't get and I know you even know the store and anywhere around you. You can walk around, sir. Say no man, no nobody here. Ah, but man, ah yeah. <laughs> man, anytime you want to walk around, call me. That's how they can do. So that how we we'll do to when your men and kind will sit and we will coach them. I will say, brother, you know I just bear it. Bear it for two years. Because when you can't, the first, the first green card you get, the green card will only be valid for two years. That two years green card, just bear it with her. She will, she will want to choose her child. Just bear it with her. After that two years, you will get 10 years green card. When you get that 10 years green card, Trust me, you can misbehave. And when she when she calls you, you cross her back. She slap you, you slap her back. Yes, when you get that 10 year green card, you can misbehave. And now you will misbehave. When your 10 year coming close, you know, when she will get there, she because you be a submissive to her for two years, right? So you be a submissive to her. When she say fat, you now your stomach, you fat. <clears throat> when she say jump, you jump. When she say come, you, <coughs> you be a submissive to her for two years. Trust me. By the time that 10 year green card can in the mail, that four month, you start misbehaving. She will put you outside. And what about American getting Liberian guests in the country? Let me tell you, they can only put people outside in the winter. I'm a witness. And I live for a woman two times in the country. All the time they misbehaving, they don't put me outside. They can only wait for a winter. Only in the winter, they don't know how to put people outside. So I give you clear call. So you can't we'll coach you. We'll coach you, we'll tell you not to misbehave in the winter. Don't misbehave. <laughs> Don't misbehave in the winter, you misbehave in the winter, like cold with your eye. <laughs> so don't misbehave in the winter. The misbehavior must start from the spring. Because she will, she will try to she will try to talk, you know, tolerate your bullshit for like maybe one month. So start misbehaving in the spring. So when in the summer her call get full, because sometimes she won't bear it. She will won't bear it until the winter. Like how they can do it in America, they will bear it until the winter. So when you start misbehaving in the spring, she will not put you outside but herself will start misbehaving too. So soon, someone, soon you hit the someone, run away. So you get in the someone, run away. So when you start misbehaving, I hope you get your as a plan. Your as a plan is start saving money. So we start misbehaving in the spring, start saving money because she bought a for you or she tell me you. Don't all that you do in the spring, she she tell me you. She marking it again in America can't forgive. She'll be marking it in the summer. She marking it. She waiting for winter, brother. So when you start miss baby in the spring, start saving your mind. Start saving your mind. In the summer, you save your mind. Then we'll come to the fall. In the fall, now maybe you get someone on 5G or someone on 7G. Soon winter morning, she went attempt. So she attempt to attempt to put you outside. You put your shit in your car, man. You drive away. You go to the next state or the next Jew. Who are you talking to? Don't go to the next Jew. I'm going to get in your poor outside. I'm telling you. You learn the highway. So you're not moving to the next drug. No one finna putting you outside. 
Do I have a 5G or 7G where you save? You call one of your crowd boys. Say, oh, my man, Christmas, where you yeah, my man, Christmas? Oh, my man, I'm in Maryland. Oh, my man, I'm way in Arizona. I know you'll be driving with someone on two days. So, my man, Christmas, I come in, I come in crash around your couch. You can't hear you now. You sit down around my couch. You lay down my living room chair or someone on. You know, one more, two more. You find job in Maryland. You lie your 7G, you save it. When you find job now, then you use your 7G. You go, you buy your furniture, then you get your own apartment, you move on. But do not misbehave on these girls then here in the winter. They quit the purple water. They quit the purple water. Don't never misbehave on American girl in the winter. I'm giving you go. So, Jaha, you can we'll bring our woman here. I can be coaching our woman and we'll push our brother. Then. Your brother will coach them. We'll coach them. Because y'all don't work on your attitude. Y'all think y'all can use their green card thing here to intimidate people. You're doing all kind of food in the matter. I'm bringing you a brain. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let me tell you. The day I bring car around to America. <laughs> ah, yeah. When you know the full of you can call him Jalo. The day I bring car around to the country. Matter of fact, I've been telling car already. I won't live in America no more. So Jack Carl and come in and say, I'll go. I'm saying, I can't have No, but let me tell you, I'm bringing Carl and to America because I won't. I can't, first of all, I'm not smoking a control woman. Me, I mean, lo, I'm, lo, I quit a part my thing. When I say, Mommy's boy, let me on the hat on. The first girl put me on the The second girl, I don't want part my thing. I quit a part. I get part my thing, you're a woman. You look at me up and down, see how the relationship go. I say, oh, all I let you look at the guy waiting for the, <laughs> the guy waiting for the snow to put me on south. Because you will see, you will see your body was coming from far play. The first thing, the woman who used to wake up and cook breakfast for you, the woman who used to wake up, cook breakfast, you know, until, even if you have beefing, the woman will still let you to eat on one or two. And then you have call, you just put her on the wall, you know, in the kitchen, you just be like, oh, you do thing. Now the woman, now, huh? Anytime she enter the hall, she wear tight jeans. So she put bell on it. You're putting what's that coming out? The woman who have phone ring, you say who calling? She say, oh baby, <laughs> now my brother, my brother calling. Hey Christmas, loyal, my brother calling. Why, why we laugh for? In fact, you, 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 the woman soon soon I call. She put on speaker. Hello, James, what's up, man? You know you said already. The woman open with you, but this time the woman phone ring. The woman, you say the woman, she find him a slipper. Her phone ring, she just said, Now in the living room. So her phone ring, she found her slipper. She walking us out of the way and saw her call. Papa, you're putting us out loading. You're putting us out loading. Better start preparing. I give you a call. So we'll coach our brother. Then. They are coming. So you're safe for them. We'll coach them. When I 10 year green card laying in your hand, you can misbehave. Because 10 years, she can't do nothing. She can't call immigration and say, uh, you have revoked that green card. Immigration don't operate like that. Now, be real, you can say you get contact. Immigration don't operate like that. She, she can't do a damn thing until after 10 years. All right? Now, when you reach those seven years, when you don't have a breakup now, because you've been in America now for two years, right? After two years, you don't have a breakup. Right? Then you get your 10 year green card. Now, after seven years, then you start calling people small, small. You get three more years for your green card to expire. Then you start calling home. Hey, what's up? I I just miss y'all, man. I, I don't I don't know. I just I'm just thinking about y'all. That's all. I just I just called to say hi. Before you bag your eye again, you cash out on five hundred. Oh, from nowhere. Before you buy your eye, you look at how you buy someone on everything from Amazon. You mill it. I promise you. So the way you not broke a horn up for five or six years. You have to work your way back in for someone at two years. You work your way back. But now your 10 year green card hit. You're not face it. You're not doing it. She don't call you. She cry on you. You go to her. You cry on her. Whoever cry on who. Your face that thing. You go. You get your citizenship. So you get your citizenship again. Eh? You gone. Well, of course, I'm planning. Because some of your women will fell out with your food in it. Will fell out with your food in it. Will fell out with your food in it. We're going to take the BS no more. Do you understand? So let's come back to uh, all this thing I'm talking about. Of course, it's just, it's just it's just for joking purpose. All right, I'm just I'm just joking. Don't don't do that. All right, you don't do that. But let me let me, let's get back to the issue. You stop being fake. You know you're in a miserable relationship. Some of you, the reason why you're in a fake relationship is because 
you are insecure. You feel like, I got four kids. Nobody wants me anymore. That's not true. There are still people out here who love you. Some of you men, you got self-esteem problem. That girl have made you understand that how you want shit in Liberia, you a piece of shit. So therefore, the fact that she brought you from America here so she can kick you around anyhow, and your self-esteem is so small and you made you she made you believe that you ain't shit. Let me tell you something. Stop begging people to be in your life. Oh, Christmas, he did that to me. Oh, uh, Christmas, she did that to me. Stop it. When people want to walk away, let them go. Don't beg nobody into being there for you. Don't beg nobody into loving you. Don't beg nobody into calling you or supporting you. Had they meant to be there for you, they wouldn't have walked away in the first place. When people want to walk away, let them walk. That whole foolish thing where I can do and say, and the man, the man do something stupid. He come back and say, sorry. What made you, let, let me tell you, especially we men, we don't say sorry until you catch us in the bullshit. When you catch us in the bullshit, you come and say sorry. Trust me, he's not sorry because he was cheating on you. He's sorry because he got caught. He's sorry because he got caught. Now, if you want to still keep him, have an honest relationship. Be like, Christmas, what did I do or what am I not doing that made you to cheat? Trust me, every man got reason why to cheat. We don't just cheat because we just want to have sex. No. The reason why I go to, for example, Beverly Pajibo House is because Beverly Pajibo made me feel at home. Not because her butt big, not because she got big boobs, not because she's sexy. It's because when I go to Beverly Pajibo, there are things she do that makes me feel love. That makes me want to be there. That things that she do that really sexy to me. Sexy is not butt. Sexy is not titties. Sexy is the, sexy is the way you treat me. So when you see I cheat on you, instead of you calling me, if you decide to forgive me for us to move on, call me to a table, let's have a real dialogue. Christmas, what happened? Why did you sleep with her? Why you cheated on me with her? Because it didn't happen one day. Beverly Pajewo, Beverly Pajewo is not yet coming in. Christmas, where you at? Uh, Beverly, I in Maryland. Christmas, can see with me. It don't work like that. There, are, there, there must be something, and let me tell you something. For Beverly Pajewo to call me in the first place, that means I have given her the permission to call me. Some of you you're in a relationship, your man boyfriend, eh, your, your man girlfriend, and you're calling him anytime in the night. You know why he let his girlfriend and call him anytime in the night? Because of what he told them. He told them yeah, he don't sleep in the same room. He told them that he's not with you no more. He told them that he's just managing you. At this point, you are no longer in a relationship, you are in a situation. Shit. That's why he, they free free to call you out. They free free to call him anytime in the night. So you have to. Bring him to the table and say, what am I doing wrong? Or what am I not doing that attract you, that make Beverly attracted, or, or that make you attracted to Beverly? And then when you do that, make sure you create a safe place for me to express myself. Now, when you create a safe place for me to express myself, I'm going to tell you something like this. Whenever I go to Beverly place, um, she listens to me when I have a long day at work, or when I have issues in my family. She's very family oriented. So my yeah, you me our librarian brother. And then since they come to the library to the America, they never do shit for their family and then back home. So my they can't even speak to their family and then no more. Not because they don't want to, because you're tired and down so much, you are not family oriented. And he got his late girlfriend in Iowa, or he got his late girlfriend in North Dakota. Well, whenever he talk about his late sister business, his girlfriend he said, What happened? What happened to your little sister? He said, My little sister, not in school, man. Hey, she was not even asking what I, what, 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 why are you not paying her school fees? Your sister not in school. Why is sister not in school? She should be in school. How much is her school fees? You say hundred dollar. Hey man, I get hundred dollar, but I get forty dollar. I will pay. I will. I will. Your, why is sister not in school? Try and make your sister go back to school. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring our brother in here. Yeah. The only thing about bills, 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 bills. Bills, when your own grandma call him back home, he have to worry about paying your bills first before you, you, you have isolated them from the family. Your thing, you're not buying human being. So therefore, he lay girlfriend in Iowa or North Dakota, or he lay girlfriend in Liberia, that's with some, some lay girl in Liberia, why, why doing a lay water market business? You call her today, you say, oh, Juliana, 
Oh, Julie. But then she said, what happened Christmas? You say my sister not in school and I ran out of book. She said, ah, Christmas. Um, I got money over again, my susu. I will take my susu early and I will pay your sister's school fee. But you will pay my money back. You say, okay, I will pay your money back one year pay. That girl right there, she, she stole a part of you. That will not make a girl who want to attach you back to your family again. But most of you, most of you women who watch me, how many times you not ask your husband or your boyfriend, how your mom doing? How many times you not ask your husband or your boyfriend, when last you send money to your mom? Is she okay? Where the old man living? You been in America three years now, the old man still living in that zinc house and I'm Corel. But every every two weeks, let me say the average librarian guy, every two weeks, maybe you bring $900 home after taxes. Every two weeks, you bring $900 home. Like now, like, the man doesn't even have hundred dollars on his nine hundred to send to his man. The man don't even have hundred dollars on that nine hundred to send to his man. You have you have made the man believe that he only had to pay your bills. So the man get his late girlfriend in Iowa. But anytime he talk about his man business, she's shaking, she's shaking. And let me tell you the way to a man heart. You better be very sensitive about a man man. Cause a man pa, sometimes. I say sometimes, only sometimes, cause of man sister. But don't you dare disrespect a brand man, man. Because in a brand, what our man can suffer over us. Don't dare disrespect a brand man, man. The person the way to a man heart is his stomach. But I tell you, the way to a brand man heart is his man. Because we know how our old man can call out in the man. And so, Otu, let me tell you something. That girl, you're not marrying her for you. You're marrying her for me. That that girl I want. We know how our money can set us down and explain to us. I don't care how we love you. If you want to respect our money, your money not getting along. Our money call us and tell us, say, I guess when I lay here in the interior, that they get me making my hot water, that they get me cooking my chorus. I promise you, you can you can do all your thing at the end of the day that our country get with and away. I give you call. So some of you, you better ask your boyfriend tomorrow or you better ask your husband tomorrow how your man doing. When you have an old man for long. Ah, it been two months. I won't send money to my mother in law. What my mother in law doing? I promise you, even if the man here in America acting a fool, by the time your man pick up that fool and say, You say, What? Why he do to you, man? Oh, man, Christmas doing this to me. I can't believe Christmas yet this girl to me in America. Oh, man. By the time my man call me, she'll say, You dirty door. Let me tell you something. You ask, let me tell you something. Because if you want me to pull bad mouth behind you, you know how man and to threaten people will swear. If you want me to pull bad mouth behind you, the thing what I cannot do for me. Oh, you boy, you not shame. You jerry your bar. How a man can talk? By the time our man finish putting oil in chair, we bounce back. I give you five minutes. Five minutes. Your woman will not call me and tell me something good. Five minutes. No, oh man. Oh man, let me tell you what I get doing. Bam! She hang up her phone. She won't get that foolishness. She gave you five minutes to go make her thing. Then next thing you call you again now. Zero. What's up? Then she say, she finished crying, man, and she had in trouble. What's up? <laughs> Nothing up. What happened? What are you calling me for? Zero, sorry. I'm I'm just sorry. I was I was such a fool. I'm I'm really sorry. But your team, our man is like your equal friend. Your team, our man is like your equal friend. Most of y'all in America, your team, our man is like your equal friend. Just because you bring somebody to America or because you're making small mouth today, your team, our man is like your equal friend. Where we want some money, our own money. Remember, how about the you? The lab you don't pay me, I get money. The lab you don't pay. I say money, I say money. You can't wait until next month. You can't wait until next month. Eh? I say I want some money, my mom, my mom, full money. I'm waiting until next month. Especially the whole Corona virus thing that coming up. The day the Corona virus hit, lab you, my fellow lab viewers, I'm giving you call. Lab you, in America right now, in America, over six people have died from Corona virus. In Illinois, uh, 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 Illinois, Chicago, 286 people on our quarantine. 286. 
286 people under observation. Four people are quarantined. In New York, the coronavirus is spreading to your state bit by bit. Somebody who in New York, you already get coronavirus in your state. Somebody who in Chicago, you already get coronavirus in your state. It's coming to your today in Maryland. I live in Maryland. In Maryland today, uh, four people were tested. The coronavirus is coming to your state. Even America is struggling with the thing. You see when Ebola hit in America, nobody died from, from Ebola. The only person that died from Ebola in America was Mr. Duncan, the guy from Liberia. He was the only person. America quarantined. But this thing is even big for America. Americans are dying. Today in Ghana, the first person that was tested for coronavirus in Ghana, he died. The person died today, they were buried today. When the coronavirus thing hit Liberia, you and I know Liberia don't even have good hospital. People dying from 2-8 in Liberia. People die from people die from running so many Liberia talk about Corona. You saw what Ebola did to our people. Ebola killed over 4,000 Liberians. Some of you right now, you're supposed to send 500 to your man tomorrow. Say, oh man, listen to me. Oh man, real money I'm sending you. I want you to buy five back of rest. I want you to buy two gallons of red oil, three gallons of alcohol oil, and put it in the horse. If you get your late girlfriend a bro, maybe you don't trust your man for some reason. You know the old man and the quote put money in the lap of nose. Alright? She won't keep it. Instead of her buying the food, she won't keep it. So right now, you're supposed to start sending money to your people. Then they start buying back or rest stacking in the house. Because me, God forbid. The day I hear say, God forbid. That old Christmas, the government la bro quarantine one person. You know? The government la bro, not even say we test the person positive. The day the government la bro say we quarantine one person. Caroline is no longer going to work. Caroline, I'm going to work. I will make sure when she enter that house, she will lock that gate. She will go inside. She ain't coming outside until Corona finish. She ain't coming outside until Corona finish. I said, she ain't coming outside until I'm making fun. Let me show you something. Let me, let me, let me show you something. I gave you clear code. I got bar they, they, they barrier not only for, 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 for Caroline, and for my whole family. You see barrier? I already stacking. You see my baby, my baby, that person there? You see here? You think I'm playing for? You think I'm playing for? The day they thing hit Liberia. The day they thing hit Liberia. My family not coming outside for six months. My family not coming outside for six months. My family not coming outside for six months. But most of you, you waiting for the thing to hit so you can count people and say, I'm happy so we can feel sorry for you. But you have, you, you are in a position right now, the corona not hit Liberia yet. Start supporting your family. Start sending money to your phone. Let it stack food in the house. No A for but I'm joking. Let it start stacking food in the house. Because when that thing hit, I don't want to lie to you. That will be bad more than Ebola. Ebola killed over 4,000 Liberians. That will be bad more than Ebola. Oh. The advanced country like China suffering to control the thing. Advanced country like America can't control it. The dirty head lab you TB hospital. Y'all waiting for Ebola, y'all waiting for coronavirus to hit lab you for your starting. First of all, even the teller, the one working in the belly, when I even go to work. Because guess what happened in the bank? The bank is a low line. The bank line long. So that means you have a lot of people in the bank congested, right in the bank. Because soon you're waiting for them to say uh, Corona first before you start sending money to your people. So the bank will be crowded. No teller want to go to work. Matter of fact, I believe I had a dream that, that coronavirus will hit Liberia and will be very bad. I had a dream. And I posted that on Facebook. You were joking. I told the president of Liberia. When I posted on Facebook, I attacked the president of Liberia. I said, Mr. President, declare state of emergency. Well, we can protest all the time. We can shut down the country. We can protest all the time and shut down the country. So why the president cannot declare state of emergency and shut down the country? I, I told the president, I said, Mr. President, the day you hear coronavirus, shut down the whole country, declare state of emergency, nobody going to work, nobody, declare state of emergency. And if the president should do that, if the president should declare state of emergency, how your family will take money from the bank? Who are going to the market to sell food? Who will be out there to sell food to you? Where if I'm not going to buy water and get this and get that? If the president declares state of emergency. Because the president declares state of emergency, that means the whole country now is in the hand of the police and the military. The military now control the state. In a state of emergency, it is the military that take over. 
You're not allowed to be in the street. If the president says set up emergency by four o'clock, four o'clock, everybody should leave the street. The military will take the street at four o'clock. Oh no, I pray against it. I pray against it. But I promise you today, coronavirus is in Nigeria. There are a lot of librarians who are going back and forth in Nigeria. You and I know what immigration is not advanced immigration. They do not have the, uh, the testing kits and stuff. I believe there are people in Nigeria who pray against coronavirus. But coronavirus is in Nigeria today. There are people who pray against coronavirus in Senegal. Today in Senegal, there is coronavirus. In Egypt, in China, in America. You think people are not praying against it? But let's look at the awareness of it. But let God be in control. But some of you right now, I'm telling you, start sending your family money. Start doing up your resources. I pray in God the coronavirus will not hit. But by the 22 bag of red, let it lay down in the house. There are two bags of red laying down here. At least one gallon of red oil, one gallon of alcohol. Now in the meantime, if you manage to lay dry red, doing the war, we eat dry red, we survive. But you have to take care of me. When I get back to the real issue of bring young people, and, and live here in the America, here in Alabama. All right. So let me use this my platform here to talk about the coronavirus. Please wash your hands, take hands and the with with you wherever you go, and pray. Draw closer to God. Somebody who cannot pray, it's about time we draw closer to God because this war might be coming to an end. This war might be coming to an end. And because we in this world, this world is turning into all kinds of things every day. Grown ass men are raping babies, uh, walls everywhere, people fighting war everywhere. Children blood are being wasted into war, in war, in stealing, in armed robbery, in corruption. All right. In a time of government officials steal, that money that could benefit a local government hospital and a child die in a local government hospital because there is not enough money. But these politicians didn't have enough money in the pocket to send their children overseas. That's murder. And those children who die every day in those poor countries, not just Liberia, but around the world. And politicians are living good life and their children are having fun and they keep playing fun under the common people. Those people who die, their blood are crying. And how they can keep swearing in the world. They keep swearing in this world. So we have to get closer to God. Because it's about, I think God is listening to their prayers. Because these corrupt politicians around the world will not give justice to the people. So God in his infinite mercy will give justice to these people. Mm -hmm. by, by cursing this whole world with a plague. Mm -hmm. With a plague. With sicknesses and disease. Mm -hmm. That no matter how much money you steal in government, that money will not go nowhere. You're only spending it in hospital. Mm -hmm. let's, get, let's get back to the real issue. It's called sowing and reaping. It's so evil. Great evil. Let's get back to the real issue. Let's get back to the real issue. So, some of you who be begging people to be in your life. I've been here for him for four days. I've been here for.